Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hand of Fate. Uh, and I do not remember what I was doing. So, it's a new recording session. We were playing as the badass line character, and I remember our fucking guild met us at the start of our journey, which was pointless again. Uh, uh, we... What is this? Whenever the player loses a curse, they also lose one random item. Okay. Uh, we got some berserker armor. What does this do? Health gain from eating is increased as your health gets lower. That's sweet. We got a normal shield. And what do we have for rings again? Guildmaster's ring. Uh, one food whenever we enter a shop. That's fucking nice. Hmm. Alright. Oh, speaking of entering a shop. Let's enter it. Boom. And I'm getting just my mic a little. There we go, now the mic's closer to my face. Alright, um... Yeah, I didn't think we'd even be able to afford it. Uh, I don't think I care about healing wounds, so let's just... Uh, do we have anything we want to sell? I don't think so. Oh, we can sell our old sword. Hang on. Alright. Oops. Like I said, new recording session. It's been a hot minute since I played, so I'm gonna fumble a little bit on the controls, I'm sure. And let's dump all of our money on three more food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Oh wait, that wasn't all my money. Whoops. I could have bought. Uh, I could have bought the better deal on food if I wanted to. Well, you know what? We'll hang on to the eight. All right, let's see what's here. Oh fuck me, the cursed gambler. We should play one round with him. That way, he doesn't mug us. All right. If I win, we get a magical item. If he wins, he'll curse us instead. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Choose from I completely options. lost track. Fuck. Nah, the far right one was my second choice, too. Dealer's Revenge. In combat, every the uh, you go, dying enemy the has a 40% chance to drop a bomb. Arcane Frailty. Extra damage from ranged attacks. Delivers sure. Again. No, I do not want to play another round. Ugh. The lizard dome. The homelands of the lizard men, and fewer still survive the experience. I like the name lizard dome. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. One night you are captured by lizard men and brought before their king. You are stripped of your equipment and must choose an opponent to fight in their underground arena. Six of skulls or the queen, the skulls queen. I think I can do six of skulls. Now, what does it mean by stripped of my equipment? I just get a rusty axe. Okay. I can do that. Oh shit, wait, oh, I can't deflect right now. Oh god, I can't shield bash them. So it's really hard to get hits off on them. Shit. 
Okay, this is making me feel like a real fucking badass, not gonna lie. Oh! Mmm! Oh! Being stripped of your crew, it really makes you feel fucking more badass winning a fight. The Lizard King returns and grants you a reward before returning your equipment for gain cards. Hell yeah! Uh, alright. One piece of armor. Ooh, what is my current weapon? I, I wish I could check. I think I want to keep my magic. I, I think I'll take this. Press 2 to strike a random opponent with a powerful lightning strike. Ten, or 10 gold per blessing. That didn't really help me. And 15 gold. Okay. And 5 food. On your way back to the surface, you see pens of other human captives waiting to fight in the arena. Back in the surface, you are released, but hesitate as the pitiful sounds of screams for help rise from the tunnels. Let's go free some prisoners. Oh boy. I think it's this one. Yeah! Yeah! You sneak back into the tunnels and release some of the prisoners. On the way out, a guard raises an alarm as you lead a group of group to the surface and away from the darkness. This card's token is now yours. Bless you for saving us, one of the prisoners says as they disappear into the forest. Draw one blessing card. Useful. Remember the pirate's food, they gain twice the usual healing. Hell yeah! Mix that with my other helmet. I think I'm gonna get healed a fuck ton by eating just a little bit. Oh, I don't have anything for you, my dude. Yeah, he wants two blessings for a magical item, but I don't have a magical item. <sighs> Sorry. Demon does not look pleased with a flick of his claw. You are thrown to a fiery pit and wake in the morning with only bad. Okay, he didn't actually hurt me. An expedition. Press okay, on. this is going pretty good, I think. And my seat, my seat's rolling back. Hang on. Sorry, I muted the mic and adjust my ro my <laughs> office chair is slowly rolling backwards. This thing I have created, I can hardly bear the sight of it now. Hmm. I've worked my way through its many. Ooh, of course I'll give you a loan so if I have times. the money. Run through these conversations in my mind over and over again. Wondered how it all ends. Will I ever know the truth? Ooh. I made to test your so-called hero. Choose your foe. So, I think the safest bet is six of plague, right? Because if he honors it, I have to fight six rats. Well, if he doesn't honor it, I have to fight the jack and the three of dust. Because I have to consider both the options of him honoring and not honoring. And I think that the six of plague is the worst thing to fight with one of the other things. Ah, there we go. I was kind of hoping he'd cheat me. Hmm, since uh, that is whom you wish to fight, I think today I shall make you fight the others instead. It's dead, just for fun. Alright, devil. Alright, alright, alright. We got this. The jack is the thing I'm most worried about. Let's try and kill some of the weaklings. God. Oh, fuck. Well, the camera's not being my friend right now. Oh, none of them are close enough. I'm getting, I'm getting a little, oh, fuck, I'm getting a little panicky. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Why didn't, why didn't it strike him? 
What? That's some bullshit. I just used up all the charges on my magic and I didn't see any lightning hit this bitch. That was horseshit. Excellent, the devil cries. You have passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time our paths cross, I will kill you myself. Three gain cards. Here we go. Now we're doing good. Ring of gluttony. Oh god, fucking car speeding by. Berserker ring, depth of night. What is the berserker ring again? For those Not too bad. Being the arbiters of justice for all. I think I'll go with the ring of gluttony. More health to work with. Much good meat, do you? All right, let's double back and let's hang left. Traveling mage, of course we're gonna visit. Even if I don't buy anything, I get food just for walking in. What do you, what do you got for me? Eh, uh, honestly, I don't want to buy any of things anyway. And I don't think I want to sell anything either. What do you got has a food deal? Yeah, fuck you. Well, I got food for being a guild master or having the ring of a guild master. The voyage. A voyage across the ocean. Familiar trip down the river. I feel like this game would be really now, easy to mod. I'm surprised it didn't have workshop support. Oh, I think we're nearing the boss, judging by what he said. I feel like it might be at the end of this hall. Can I afford to decline? Okay, I didn't I didn't get anything stolen. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We play for a token. Please! Please no! Not the tavern attack! Okay, okay, it's just four of dust. We got this first half where you where you got no problem. I gotta play with a lot of caution though, because I wanna make sure I'm as well off as I can be going into the second stage of this encounter. I need a sip of water. <clears throat> when I said, oh shit, a, a bit of saliva shot down my throat. <clears> throat> Alright, so now the mages are gonna show up. We got a three of mage, aided by, of course, a boss, the Jack of Dust. <sighs> now, this is where it's gonna be fucking hard, but I think we're really well equipped for it. This is why I put so much combat encounters in the deck so that we would be prepared for this moment. We've got a pretty fucking good set of... I wish I had wasted all my electric magic, but... Shit, dodge. Oh, we 
finally defended the tavern! Oh, it feels like it's been months! You know, when you return inside, you find Cario hiding under the bar. He obviously he fears mages and, the, and their power. Cleaning up can wait until tomorrow. You both find a spot by the hearth and enjoy a strong drink. Uh, Carlo tells you about the locals in the area and the sorry tale of how he came to fear the Kraken so. This card's token is now yours. Oh, I don't even care if we lose to the boss. That's victory for me. That token, that token is like, oh, finally. That's been so hard. Ooh, what does he want? That token is at stake. Yeah, I'm gonna give him pretty much all my food. All right, let's see what he can give me. It's either this or this. Damn it, I was wrong either way. All right, well I got a blessing, guardian angel. That's not too bad. Too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Oh, and I got a bunch of money. Hey, if we have a shop as our next stop, that'd be very good. <laughs> oh, wow, this is a fucking blessed episode right here. I don't even need to buy any food. I have all the food I need for the last leg of this journey. Assuming, assuming this is the last leg of the journey. Uh, let's see what he's selling. Whenever the player receives healing, they gain one gold. Once per combat, press two to activate that. For... Whenever the player sells an item, they receive two food. Am I even gonna sell anything? I think I'm happy with everything I have. Created by one of the king's mages during the first Ratman incursions. Ooh, that's some fun lore. Just in case this isn't actually the last floor like I think it is. Oh! You'll run out of food at this rate. The White Council 5. The mages of the White Council have been mobilized. Uh, Zahang, if he uh, was, is still alive, will seek to take his revenge against you. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain oh, new man. cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Let me sip my water. It's a hot summer day. I need to drink a lot of water. One day, as you haggle uh, as you haggle with a grocer for some cheap food, you find yourself suddenly flying into the air. A vortex of wind surrounds you, propelling you up and away towards an unknown destination. In time, you are dumped onto a stony platform before the wizard Zahangan. He glares at you for a moment with his single eye, at the other a hideous scarred wreck. You have caused great harm to this land, warrior! The council seeks only to ensure peace in this realm, and you have sown chaos. Even now, the demon Ab 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 Abadeon still rages in the depths of the tower, the sacred temple of knowledge itself. It'll take years to uh, uh, take us years to recover. He gestures with a hand, now missing several fingers, it and a portal opens. Of eternity, that Shut up! Play. Revealing I a trio of mages. You take forever to make um, decisions. The Hagan says limping through the portal. Alright. Just two. He said it said a trio, but I'm only fighting two. Oh, it is a trio. Then why was it level written off as a two? Ow.
That was easy enough. I just realized they're actually shirtless. They're just wearing shirts with a fake six pack on them. So like a hand suddenly reappears, furious and seething with magical entry. What? Your skill with weaponry, your skill with weaponry has made you a great thorn in my side. He pauses to kick uh, the body of a fallen mage. Idiots! If not for me, these simpletons would still be hiding in their tower. Nothing more than a bunch of spineless librarians. Let's see you fight your way out of this. A shield of magical green energy appears instantly around him, and he launches into a long, complicated pattern of sounds and gestures. A raging ball of flame forms in the sky above you and starts to grow as the wizard continues his chant. The devil's take you! Zegahan cries, disappearing into another portal as a ma the massive fireball plummets down towards you. At the last second, with no other avenue of escape, you throw yourself off the edge of a stone platform. The stone platform. After falling for several seconds, a tentacle suddenly reaches out of a portal, plucking you from the air and bringing you back to the Tower of the White Council. Abadeon, the demon, sits surrounded by the bodies of fallen mages. It places you down lightly and withdraws its tentacle. Oh my god. You have been useful, mortal. Uh, or it doesn't melt, say. And you will be useful to me again one day. Go now. The thing watches you with its many unblinking eyes as you bl back out of the room. You scarcely pause to loot the abandoned rooms on your way out of the tower. Shut up, phone. Dealer draws you or the dealer draws you one game card. This card's token is not yours. This is a good run. I don't All think right. the mages will forgive your Ooh. transgressions there. I forgot I had turned the steam overlay back on because I was uh, playing another game where I needed it. The Queen of Clay. Even I have waited to see. Majestic. Queen of Rats have a, or Queen Rats have great skill with their spears and are accompanied by a totem that spreads their toxic damaging filth. The Rat Men Queen can birth thousands of her foul kind, protecting them with her prodigious with her prodigious spear skills. Let us take a token on their foolishness. I got this. The Queen of the or Queen Rats have great skill with their spear and are accompanied by a totem that spreads their toxic damage filth. All right, all right. So we've got a good load up of magical equipment to help us with this. I think I think we got this. Queen of Plagues. Oh, I gotta destroy the totem still. All right, hang on. All right. That was fucking easy, actually. We stomped her. The tavern was a harder fight than that. will not easily recover from this loss. A million half-orphaned rats will fall upon you like a tide of horror. Why do you still play? Why can't you walk away? You have earned your prize today. All right. For rescuing the other prisoners of the Lizardmen, you receive the following cards. Uh, health potion and 
Wandering minstrels, hell yeah. Oh, this is the card. For defeating the la uh, defending the landlocked lover, you receive landlocked lover f four, six. That's four, right? Ghosts of the sea and help the locals. For defeating the uh, defeating the White Council, you receive good fortune, magic gloves or mage gloves, mage mask, and the apprentice. As a reward for defeating uh, my Ratman Queen, you receive thunder strike, heavy armor, and power uh, or Emperor's jewel. King of Skulls, our first king, shop, and fire in the deep. Oh, I can shuffle my own shop into the deck now, huh? I have only begun to challenge you. Oh, <gasps> our next treasure is at hand. And will not be laid to rest. Oh, we're on the precipice of the next treasure. Corrupted Soul, 10, minus 10 max health whenever the player gains a new curse, and performing a prone finisher inflicts 5 damage on the player. Oh shit, okay. So, I should not attack guys on the ground. The most fearsome undead warrior ever seen. He carries on one arm a shield that would crush most men, and with the other wields a two-handed sword with deadly ease. Hmm. The undead king. In life, he was strong. In death, he's unstoppable. Your road will end here, I suspect. Let's shuffle in the new cards. Oh, it's a shield. Time heals, that's cool looking. All right, now what are we going to shuffle out? Um, I like Desperate Measures. 30 damage from that. How are some of these looking damage? Yeah, we're going to get rid of the Rat Cleaver because we're not on a rat hunt anymore. I like all these shields. Berserker Arm is pretty nice. What does Depth of Night do again? Once per encounter, player may choose to discard a random monster and draw another. Wilderness armor is gives speed damage buff until I'm hit. Let's put that away and that away. Oh, what does this one do again? Ah, that's that's put away the Goblin King's crown. That's not much help to me. But uh, let's put back Depth of Night. And I think I'm happy with the rest of that. I'm still gonna play as the Lion Prince because that's a very fun one. Let's shuffle in these new cards. Now we actually have one too many. So let's get rid of... Let's get rid of the Devil's Wager. Alright, and that's what we will be using... ...next time on Hand of Fate. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so happy to have made some actual progress. Like, it felt like for so long we were just meandering and meandering with no real progress to have finally blown through all of the bottlenecks, all the things I was struggling with, to now actually advance into new plot lines. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Well, um, 
I hope to see all of you in the next episode where we're going to be fighting to get that little amulet there. At the top left corner will be the entire Hand of Fate series. At the top right corner will be another series editor Brian recommends. At the bottom left will be my most recent upload. And at the bottom right will be a video recommended for you by the YouTube algorithm. I love all of you very, very much. I hope to hear some comments from all of you down below. And while you're there, get a subscribe and a likey maybe. Uh, I hope to see all of you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.